In 1513, Albert Dürer created Night, Death, and the Devil, a compelling etching that predated the Protestant Reformation. Although it predated the Protestant Reformation, the Reformation's influence can be seen in his work since. Today, we will take a look at Night, Death, and the Devil and analyze its symbolism and its impact. We will also take a look at the Protestant Reformation and its impact on Albert Dürer. The etching features a knight walking down a path in the forest. To the right of him is Death, who is riding on his pale horse with an hourglass in his hand. To the right of Death is the devil. The devil is watching Death and the knight as they interact with each other. In the distance, we can see a castle looming over the forest, and below the knight is a dog who is helping. To the left of the dog is the initials of Albert Dürer. There are several art elements that are being used in its etching. There are contour lines and an achromatic color scheme. There is also shading that is being used at the bottom of the horses to create shadows. Hatching and cross-hatching is also implemented into the etching. The horses use crotch etching in order to make their fur more believable. Thanks to Johannes Gutenberg, the print and press made it easier for things to be made faster and more efficiently. This in part allows for more widespread attention of a variety of things. The printing press allowed for the Bible to be spread widespread and allowed for many people to have different perspectives of the Bible. This in turn allowed for the Bible to be interpreted in many different ways for people to be able to think on their own. Martin Luther had a huge impact on Albert Durer. After reading about the Protestant Reformation, Durer decided to switch his denomination to Protestant. The Reformation began after Martin Luther nailed 95 theses to the door of a church. The list criticized the corrupt practices of the Catholic Church. Before working on Night, Death, and the Devil, Durer did several woodcuttings. Most of these depicted the stories of Christ in the Bible. Albrecht was Catholic at the time and had an interest in religion. He did the Passion of the Christ as well as the Crucifixion of Christ. Many of those woodcuttings would be considered pro-Catholic, as they did deal with the teachings of Christ in the Bible. These woodcuts were fairly popular and allowed the Catholic message to be spread. One example of his woodcuts is St. Jerome and his... Other works include the Four Apostles, the Beast with Two Horns Like a Lamb, and the Four Horsemen, which is a part of his Apocalypse series, as well as the Holy Trinity. Albert had a close relationship with his mother, Barbara Halper. Around the time of Night, Death, and the Devil, Barbara began to become very ill. The portrait above is from March of 1514. Two months before she died, Albert took care of her while she was ill. Her illness took an effect on Albert as he was very worried about his mother. It could also be argued that Night, Death, and Devil could be Albert il illustrating about his mother's illness as she was sick at the time of him etching Night, Death, and Devil. In conclusion, Albert Durer's Night, Death, and the Devil is an interesting piece of art that is fascinating. Albert's style of work wonderfully complements the artwork and segments as it